school year, but there's still an argument going on about how well children can catch up with the school that they missed last year. Louise Haig, the Sheffield Healy MP, has done a bit of research and she thinks that um, uh, the amount of school that children have lost in Sheffield is about 50 days on average. Now, the government's catch-up plan was there over the summer to help students catch up on that missed school. £3 billion, the government saying it's committing to helping children catch up, but Louise Haig says it's not enough. The government's plan amounts to a meagre £50 per head uh, per child. Uh, compare that to £1,600 per head in the United States. It's one of the lowest that we're providing in Europe. Um, the Labour Party are putting forward a £14 billion package that we think properly matches the need um, for kids across Sheffield and across the country that would mean one-to-one -one tutoring, smaller group support... Um, support for mental health because lots of children will have really really struggled over the last year being stuck at home some of them in far um, less than ideal circumstances we need to see that targeted investment and unfortunately what the government have put forward doesn't anywhere near match the um, the scale of the need so of course the government's saying it's committed to helping children catch up but some children won't be able to catch up because they left school and we saw with the exam results just a couple of weeks ago the gap widening between children in independent schools, the wealthier schools and children in state schools and, and that's been put down to by some in education that the, the wealthier schools have got more of a chance of helping those children catch up on the, the school that they've missed so that's a worry for some people in education that I've been talking to as well.